it's Mrs. Silverberg and this video is a quick review of doing solfege in the key of F. And you'll notice that I have movable dough written under the title because in choir, the way we read music, dough can be anywhere on the staff. Any line or space could be dough. It just depends on this over here. Are you looking over here? That's the key signature. It's always between the clef and the time signature. And this particular key signature tells us that we are in the key of F, which means DO is on the bottom space. That's DO. Now, once we know where DO is, everything follows DO. So the next note up is going to be. That's right, it's RE, then, then, then. And if you were following along with me, you know that we're back to DO, but this is high DO, right? And then the whole thing could start over, but you know, we're not going to be screaming tonight. Now, if we start on DO and go down, then the note right below DO is going to be low T, then low LA, low SO. Okay, so that's what we've got going on here. This is the key of F. You need to remember DO is wherever we say it is. All right, now. And I apologize if my key clicks are loud. I'm still learning how to do this. When we're filling in our solfege, when we're like identifying the notes, you're going to use a capital letter and that's it. Don't spell it all out because then you get a whole bunch of doo-doo on your paper and I don't even like that. So just use those capital D for DO, capital R for RE, etc. like this. So DO. And of course, when we get to high DO, we add an apostrophe to show that it's high DO. We're back down to our home DO now and going down, so we're going to add a, that's right, we're going to add a comma, very good. Okay, you got all that? If you're confused, go back and watch it again. Okay, but this is how it works in the key of F. And you notice that it alternates. Note is on the space. So the next note up is on the line. Then the next note up is on the space. So when we've got all of our notes kind of mixed up, um, sorry, hold on. When we've got all of our notes kind of mixed up, then this really becomes important that you pay attention to which line or space the note is drawn on. So I'm going to write a little melody really quickly, just four measures where they're mixed up, okay? Give me a sec. to the play button and I get to my little melody here. Let's listen. That's not too bad, right? Yeah? I don't know. Probably won't win any awards, but whatever. The point is we're going to figure out what these pitches are, okay? So, we know that that's DO, yes? Sure we do. So that's going to be D for DO, bottom space, key of F, that's always going to be DO. But is the next note RE? No, it's not. Look how much higher that is. That's not the very next note up like we have up here. That's like way up high. It's on the third space. So which pitch is on the third? Oh, I see it. It's so. Yeah. 
Now the very next note from there, is it higher or lower? It's higher, yeah. But is it a little bit higher or a lot higher? Just a little bit. You see, it's just going up to the very next note. It's like saying hi to its neighbor, which I guess social distancing doesn't apply to solfege, but whatever. So from so up to, that would be law. And then back down to so. See how easy that is? Now, second space. From so down to, that's going to be a me. And then I'm just going to finish this up. Work along with me, see if you got it. Now these are tricky because they're below dough, okay? Okay, so when we're labeling the pitches, you need to know where dough is and then go from there. And that's really all you need to do. So watch this video as many times as you need to to do the assignment in the key of F. Doe is on the bottom space. Next week I'm going to have a video for the key of G and a new sheet for that. It's going to be a little bit different. It hopefully will be a little bit easier for all of us to work with. I'm still learning this too, you guys. So come back and watch again if you need to or, you know, heck, if you just want to pretend like we're in class together again because I miss you guys. And uh, I really hope we get to be together soon in some way. But I'm going to sign off for now. I'm going to say goodnight. It's almost 10 o'clock, which, you know, for old ladies like me, that's like 2 in the morning. So I hope you're all well. And I know you're all wonderful. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.